Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So this is the third video, and we're still using the LEDs. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, make our LEDs blink forever. So we're going to start with just making them blink on and off. We have the same LED setup that we did before. So what you'll notice is that we import a library called Time. Um, and this allows us to pause the programming uh, for a certain amount of time. So you can see we've set up the, um, the code as normal as the previous examples. So this, these two lines here will turn the LEDs on. And then we're going to use the time.sleep. And in there, in the brackets, we have one, which is sleep for one second. So the code will come down. And it will run through here in you know, a microsecond, um, as quick as the processor can and then it will pause for a whole second, so the light will go on for a second. Uh, it will print to the screen here that it's turned the light on, and then it's going to turn the light off, um, and again, pause for another second. So the light's going to go on, off, on, off. So yeah, off there, sleep for another second, and that's it. So now it's just a very simple process of going to our code, running sudo um, three underscore blink dot py, which is just a simple blinking code and running that and then you'll see that the LED will turn on, then turn off, then turn on, then turn off. And that's the use of the sleep um, library. So in that last example we made the lights turn on and off. Um, however, what happens if we want to actually um, keep this going forever and not actually ever stop? So we need to learn a bit about um, how to use uh, white spacing, which is how we indent our code. And we also need to learn about while loops. Um, and uh, while conditions, that sort of thing. So we're just going to go through these, this new piece of code that will explain these two, two, these two new concepts. So we set up our code as normal, and then what we have is here, is we have a while loop, um, and this basically means loop forever. Um, you can put in there different conditions, so you could say um, while one equals um, greater than zero, um, do something. Um, so this is a, a way that we can um, have code function for a certain amount of time um, and then when certain conditions are met it can then drop out of that loop. Also note there are white spaces here that are actually used to um, indent the code. And what that means is, is that for this while loop everything that's indented one level deep, so all of these lines down here will be part of that while loop. So whilst this condition is happening it will run through this over and over and over again until this condition is no longer true. So this is a slightly um, simplified version of a wild loop. Um, it basically just means loop forever. In the later examples, we will go over some slightly more complicated wild loops. This white space here, or this uh, indent, is actually three spaces. So in the second example, all we have to do is just run the, um, the code three underscore blink underscore forever dot py, run that, and it will just blink, and it will just continue to blink on and off, on and off, on and off, until you hit control C, which will force the Python code to stop running. And that's it. If you're interested in learning a lot more about um, how while loops work and have a lot more examples, head over to Code Academy and follow their Python track. And on there, you'll be able to use their interactive website to uh, try different programming examples. And hopefully, this will complement these videos that you're watching nicely. Follow these videos, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel.